In episode 85, I built this, I don't know, this flag, this coat of arms, and I kind of, I never flat out said what it is. I think most of you probably had a pretty good guess, and most of you did guess correctly. It's supposed to be a phoenix, and I think it looks pretty good. It looks like, I don't know, like a bird on fire or something. So you got his head with those two, then his body, and then like flaming wings, and then a big glorious tail. I don't know. Use your imagination. Minecraft is a game of imagination, and you should have a good one and stuff and things. Also, stair type A1, this was uh, on the left side. Stair type B, I've already replaced. It was close, but uh, I think stair type A does look a little bit better. It's got a little bit more of a natural curve to it, where stair type B was just like a big weird thing. And we kind of use this same pattern here, where it kind of the 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 wooden block kind of protrudes from the from the stone brick stairs. Uh, we use that in other places, so I think it gives better continuity. Um, this is the command room, the command area that we've been working on. It looks okay. It's uh, I replaced, I think we were using spruce last time. Um, it looks a little better. I think the bright white kind of makes it look goofy-ish. Uh, but it looks a little bit better. It, it kind of fits more because we've got a really heavy gray themed castle. Um, I'm still not sold on it though. So if you have any suggestions on what we could change this this block layout to, and of course this this stone brick in the back here, that's all going to disappear once once you can interlock maps once uh, 1.7 hits. The next thing I wanted to share is I wanted to show you how freaking lucky I got. I was coming in here, I, I, well, if you look, I'm level 60. I'm level 60 because I died in between episode 85 and this episode, episode 86. Uh, I died. I was out in the nether and I was fighting, uh, wither, wither skeletons, right? And, uh, so, like, this regular skeleton had spawned, and I was right on the edge, and, like, this regular skeleton spawned, shot me a gas blast, like, knocked me way off the edge. At first, I was scared that I was gonna land in lava, but no, I ended up falling, I don't know, maybe 20 blocks off of the top of this, this, uh nether fortress right and then and then like I hit the ground I see myself at half a heart and then I kind of quickly do a glance around me and I realize I'm standing in fire the fire ticks boom I die my items go everywhere the majority of it landing in fire of course my iron armor wasn't that difficult to replace but like all my diamond tools that was a pain in the butt I think I lost our bow, the one that had infinity on it. So I made a new one. This one's pretty good. Also, I used uh, I used a fortune shovel to get a bunch of uh, to get a bunch of flint to make a bunch of arrows. So we're good on arrows. Um, I'm, I've pretty well remade most of our stuff. But uh, whenever I came back, I was just playing, and this guy had a diamond helmet unlocked. So I'm like, well, maybe that wouldn't have happened had I had diamond gear, because we're kind of famous for running around in iron gear. So I was like, okay, I'm going to buy his diamond helmet. And then I got a diamond pick. Actually, I think that's been there for a while, but still, still, it's a lucky grab. Diamond helmet, diamond pick. Then I got a diamond shovel. Okay, that's that's pretty good. We've got three pieces of diamond. And then I was able to sell him iron ingots. That's fantastic. We have like infinite iron in our iron golem farm. Okay, so I sold him a bunch of iron and then was able to buy a bunch of this diamond stuff. Okay, so you're you're still with me. You still you've probably by now noticed that this little arrow is still lit up. So let's go ahead and click over oh, a diamond sword. Look at that. And then a diamond pantalones and then a diamond chess piece that means this one villager is like our Bill Gates of villagers he has a diamond helmet a diamond pick a diamond shovel he will buy our infinite iron ingots uh, he has a diamond sword a diamond leggings and a diamond chess piece I am absolutely flabbergasted that guy is fantastic so so we bought well I bought a whole bunch of, where did I put it all? I bought a whole bunch of stuff in between this and last episode because, like I said, I died. Um, so, I've got 60 levels here. Uh, 
Uh, I'm trying to think of what I want to use it on. I really need to get some more unbreakings. Um, let me see. Yeah, because these all have protection on them. See, I made good boots. These all have protection, but I really need to get some good, like, unbreaking gear. So, I'm debating. Do we want to do armor, or do we want to... We've got 60 levels. We're going to do two pieces of armor. We'll do... Protection, protection, protection. We'll do... We'll just do, since I've got it on hand here, we'll do some leggings and some helmets. So, here we go. Diamond helmet. Level 30 enchant. Nit. Ah, oh, no good. Diamond leggings, level 30 enchant. Ah, no good. Oh, man. That's okay, though. I mean, we can get more of those dang near any time we need. So then, from here, I obviously spent a lot of time in the nether grinding out levels at our blaze farm. Actually, I don't have the required blocks. I'm going to go grab those real quick. So as I was saying, I spent a lot of time here at the uh, the nether base. I want to expand on this. I want to make it a big, cool, awesome room. Uh, with these two blaze spawners, how I currently have them set up, in order to remain in range of the spawner at the top uh, and still be able to collect the harvest, I gotta stand like on our redstone. And I feel like that's really sloppy. And uh, after spending 60 levels worth of time here, uh, I really, 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 really want to give the thing an update. If you didn't understand because of my gibberish, I said that I really want to give this thing an update. Uh, so I have a couple of the ideas. I, I think I have uh, a way that we can condense all these repeaters in the back here. Uh, and then I did some maths on mob despawning mechanics. Uh, they won't, if we were to raise this up with how low it is, I think I have a way that I can fix the, the lowness of it, but I'm not too concerned about that for the short, uh, term, uh, build of this, but they shouldn't despawn. Like if I were to bring them up to the here, I would need to bring them, it's like, I don't know, something, something here-ish. Uh, so that's the plan. That's what I'm going to start working on. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to figure out where I want the containment chamber at. So we've got this here. And so I need to now move that up. So I think, so let me first start out by destroying. Yes. 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 All right. There's there was the first three blocks. Now I'm gonna do a bunch of boring math, and I'll check in with you in a second. Okay. So I've got it all moved. You can see all my kind of scaffolding here. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. Let's run through how it's supposed to work, so that way you kind of have an idea. And I did toggle peaceful to normal again, just so there wouldn't be a ridiculous amount of blaze uh, bogging down the lag or bogging down the recording. Um, okay, so so first, this does work. I've already got this set up. This is an easy test. It's just this lever. Oh God. It's just that lever. I don't even think I can get to it. Let's see. Oh gosh. There's no lava, so they'll just pool at the bottom down there. That's all right. Um, that lever goes underneath those three blocks there. This is the best camera angle I can get. It goes under those blocks there, which then powers that piston, and then it goes up. Um, you see that redstone torch there? That redstone torch powers the block, which then, oh my god, I keep falling. Which then powers that block, which then powers the upper piston, which uh, does the close off thing. So this extends, and then that shuts off the lava. So that's good. We can go ahead and add the the two lava there, so there should be one set of lava. Oh man, this is going to start to make a blaze come up. Okay, so it's not here. It should be the next block down, so right there. Yeah, and so that didn't destroy it, and see, then that will fall down. Oh wow, that fell really quick. And see, so that falls down, and then that's going to cause all the blaze to swim upwards, and uh, yeah, and then they'll come up into this area. And then I need to add our second lava here, so that's good. 
and then this gets closed off like so and so then that that should look very familiar to everyone and there we can see they are starting to funnel up that's very very good and so then you can see if we were to close that yep that's exactly as intended uh, so then the crusher mechanism so that's all working that's very good uh, the crusher mechanism is a little bit weirder. Uh, I was able to save a ton of resources. Like, look, I didn't bring a single repeater with me. Um, I brought like six or seven comparators. So how this works is it's supposed to, this, this redstone block will push down, which will power that redstone dust there. That redstone dust powers the crusher, which then crushes the blaze. We're all familiar with that. But how did we do this timing? The timing is very, very cool. It's very compact. Um, I've seen this kind of floating around on the internet for a little while now. I made my own little variation of it. Uh, so what happens is when we push that button, it goes into a redstone torch tower. So then I move the signal perfectly straight up. This goes into these comparators, which then loop around. Now, because there's two blocks in between here, these signals will diminish over time. So it, it basically, the signal is going to move in a big circle like this over and over and over until the signal totally is diminished and then shuts itself off. Um, then once that signal is totally diminished, also, I have a bunch of repeaters here set for a total of like, what, this would be four, four, three, and then the block would make it, would that be three or would that be four with this? I think it's three. Um, so, so then it would shut this off with a slightly more controllable delay. So that's the whole concept. Let's go see if this works now. So again, we hit the lever, it shuts off. You can see that there should be still, yeah, a big old pillar of blaze coming up. So now they're all just totally secluded in here. Okay, they are crushing. They are crushing. So now we gotta take just a torch. We'll punch them down. Now I'm gonna punch them with my fist. Yeah. So I did, there's one like glitching out in there. Um, yeah, and it appears to be working. I'm one-shotting them, or like one-punching them. Awesome. So let's go grab, I'm gonna go grab, I don't know how many there are in there. I'm gonna grab a splash potion though. And then, oh yeah. Yeah, it's only gonna be a little bit of experience because we didn't give them a chance to build up. But then we shut that off and then they continue building up. That's awesome, that's fantastic. This is gonna be so much nicer. Now I'm gonna clean up the rest of the area and I'll check back in with you in a second. So I've just been working on leveling the terrain now. As you can see, uh, I've got it kind of smoothed out a little bit more. I've kind of got this area set up. Oh goodness, the lag. Uh, but in the meantime, what are we at? We're at 207 entities. So this is gonna be a large scale test. You can see, okay, the lava should have despawned. You can see they're just trucking it up here. It seems to be working a lot faster than it used to. Let's go ahead and push the button. Oh, look at them get crunched. Oh, yeah. Okay, I've got the splash potion ready. This is going to be a huge... Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Look at all this experience. Oh, yeah. If you've never seen a cloud of experience, check it out. Oh, yeah. Do a disco rave. I don't have any Eyes of Enders to appropriate or gather this experience appropriately 30 levels at a time so oh well we're just gonna have to deal with the inefficiencies but it still looks awesome oh yeah i'm a phoenix and i'm on green fire with a little bit of yellow oh hmm that looks really snazzy though for reals okay okay so i've got ooh. i've got almost no food that's why actually we're taking a quick break because I have no food left, which means that I'm eventually going to die here in the nether. So I'm going to head back to home base. I think we'll do another enchant. And then, oh, snap. Oh, well, power five bows, man. Wow. Did some mad freaking work. 
I've now made it back home. I grabbed some food. We're doing just fine. Uh, I think I've got... Are they in here? What's up, Bill Gates? How you doing? He's the Bill Gates of villagers. Um, grab a book. Let's take a look and see what we can get from our enchanting table. Come on, I need unbreaking three. Punch two. Not so good. That makes me sad. It breaks my heart. <sighs> Okay, so instead we're going to try something a little bit different here. I've still got 14 levels. I've got two books. So I want to try to go for two level 7 enchants. So let's see, what is that? Oh, hey, right there. Um, okay, so I'm trying for Unbreaking 1. The reason why I'm trying for Unbreaking 1 is because, I guess before we look at this, we should come over here. Okay, so we know how we have... You know how we have the Bill Gates villager that will sell us complete items? Um, that means whenever we go to repair our items, we're going to need to repair them with the same thing, like this. But see, this is too expensive, and I've already tested it. It'll be too expensive even if I were to name the sword. Um, so instead of running that route, I... I did a whole bunch of math, did a whole bunch of testing uh, in a like a creative world, and I found out all the best enchants that you can maintain by combining that enchant, that enchanted item with itself. So in order to do that, I need to get unbreaking one for a sword because that's the best thing that you could sustain I guess is the word I'm looking for so here we go I need unbreaking one out of these seven levels what do we get nothing that's so junk let's try this again four four okay let's let's add another table oh that's ten okay there we go Ooh, we've got two choices I never get to pick the middle one so that's what we're going with and it worked we got unbreaking one I know that seems like such a small little but it's such a victory! Yay! That, that, once this sword breaks, because this sword can't be repaired. Like, see, you can't put, oop, you can't put a diamond in it. And we already, I already showed you that you can't put another sword in it. This sword will eventually die, as sad as that is. Uh, so then the next sword that I was looking at making is going to be a sharpness. So we've got sharpness three, two of those. I don't need all this junk and poopy stuff and uh, so it'll be sharpness 5 fire aspect 2 unbreaking 1 and that's going to be our next sword so we've got a little bit of sharpness and we just got the unbreaking and now I gotta go I don't know throw this bane of arthropods off of a cliff somewhere <laughs> throw it in with all the other junky enchants that we've got I don't know what we're ever gonna do with those but yay there we go booyah lightest smallest victory ever with that tiny tiny victory there uh, I think we're gonna wrap today uh, I want in the comments down below I want suggestions on what we should do for this area should we just enclose it and not use like fences should we leave it open should we what block combinations do you think would look good here I don't know like I'm having a problem. I've probably gone through like half a dozen different iterations of this and just I'm I'm totally at a loss. So if you have any suggestions on block combos for the command room, for the, the map, the planning, the strategy area, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. So that's going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time in episode 87. Until then, farewell.